Good morning all. My name is Alex and I work for Allsop and Allsop. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of a Type A unit in Polo Homes. This unit has been upgraded and remodeled so it isn't the standard configuration for a Type A in Polo Homes. But as you can see, coming in through the front door, you've got a huge foyer and entrance area with stairs along both sides that take you upstairs to the first floor. You can see flooring has been redone. You'll see bits and pieces still being done at the moment. Maintenance is still being carried out. As you enter, you've got more room for a foyer, which then backs out onto the garden as well. To the left-hand side, you've got family room. You've then got your guest bedroom downstairs which also has access out to the garden and has its own ensuite bathroom with it. As you go to the right downstairs, you'll see guest toilet, A little bit more space again to the right, and then you have your lift access, which takes you up to the first floor as well. As you come round into the kitchen, you've got a morning area here, which is used for kind of breakfast table and so forth. Got a huge kitchen space, upgraded. And then you've also got your dining area as well. You do also have a room downstairs for the driver and also maid, which opens up to the garage area, it's your maid's room. We've been showing it on suites. And then you've also got a service kitchen downstairs. storage. The downstairs is then completed with family room. Again, flooring has been upgraded, lots of windows and natural lights, and also a separate washroom. The built up area for a type A in Polo Homes is 15,000 square feet and the plot size is in the region of 21,000 square feet. So as you'll see, you've got an expansive outside area. You've got enough room for swimming pool, patio area and also jacuzzi area. You'll notice that the gravel is still being landscaped at the moment, so grass will be laid and you've got views over the equestrian and polo club. As you go up to the first floor, so you get lots of light again from the windows at the top. You've also got good foyer space upstairs as well. And you've got the first bedroom, which is on the left hand side, which overlooks the front of the property. And it also has one suite. Got the master bedroom, which is straight ahead and has been divided out. So you kind of have living space as well as sleeping space, which is a nice touch.
Again, you've got access to a balcony from here. Again, with views over the polo course. You also have a huge four piece bathroom. So you've got bathroom area, standalone shower, and also separate toilet area. Also got area for storage space. And again, you'll see the flooring has been changed and upgraded throughout all of the bedrooms upstairs. So again, you've got family area that you can use. There's additional space, which is handy. This is where the lift would bring you upstairs. Again, you've got more family room space upstairs. You've then got another bedroom, which has balcony access. And has its own ensuite. suites. Juliet balcony with this one. You then go. Study area upstairs as well, which also has shower fitted to it. And you've got another double bedroom, which again has access to a balcony. As you can see, the front of the property is also being re-landscaped. You have fountain area at the front, green area, and then that's your entrance to the garage, which also leads to the driver's courses as well. In conclusion, this villa has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and it sits on a plot of 21,000 square feet. If you need any further